<laughs> Hi guys. Okay, we're just about to do a video telling you how to choir conduct when we're on stage during worship. So this is our beautiful choir. Choir, say hello. 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 <laughs> We already did that. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Like with a seven in it. No. Oh, no, shut up! Let's do something fun. Okay. Okay. You should do something fun. Like, What's up? Something. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys, this is Grace Matthew. We're here talking about how to conduct a choir on stage. So this is our amazing choir. What's up? Say what's up? What's up? <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be going through the song, Oh Praise the Name. Now we've already arranged our um, choir into our section. So we've got our altos, melody and tenors. And we're singing, Oh Praise the Name. So because we've, we're trying to keep this video quite short, we'll just go straight into harmonies during the chorus. But normally we would sing the first chorus in melody for most songs. On the third, at break of dawn, the sun of heaven rose again. Oh, trample death, where is your sting? The angels roar for Christ the King. Oh. them quite a lot um, and I'm also trying to keep the beat even in the times when we're not actually singing and just before we enter into a verse or a chorus I'm giving them some notice by either smiling to them or taking a breath or showing them with my hands that we're about to go into um, the next verse or chorus. The other thing is um, before we recorded this video I actually checked how many people we had on each section and we want to be making sure that we've got a strong melody undergirded by a great alto and a strong tenor part. So if you have too many tenors, you might ask some of them to move over to singing the melody, which is what we actually did before. Um, and then the next thing that I talk about is blending. So um, because this part, this um, song is strong and heavy on the harmonies, which is amazing, we really need to make sure that we are blending very well. So that might mean that um, if you're a strong singer, it might mean just changing your tone slightly so that you're blending with the voices around you and also pitch-wise, you're making sure that you're pitching um, from the band but also the people around you. And then um, one more thing was dynamics. So there are some parts of the song where the congregation would be quite quiet. Those are actually not the times where choir needs to sit back and just let the worship leader lead. Those are the times where the choir needs to really rise up because it's in those moments that the choir becomes the voice of the congregation. Um, so in the times where there's free worship, where maybe the, um, you know, the back of the frontline vocals have sort of dropped off a little bit, the choir needs to still be singing with strength, mm -hmm. just to make sure that there's a really full sound coming through. And also because, because the choir is the voice of the congregation, um, we want to be allowing the congregation to feel free to worship mm -hmm. with as much strength and freedom as they require or, des or desire. Um, and so if we're, if we're leaning into worship in those moments, then we're actually creating more space where the congregation can also lean in rather than feeling a little bit awkward if they're going to sing out. <laughs> um, so we normally ask our choirs to really sing out during the free worship moments and really own those. Um, and other than that, you guys have done a great job. Now in terms of conducting with your hands, um, it's definitely something that you practice. So practice in front of the mirror, it doesn't have to be the same as the way I do it or, or the way other people do it. Um, but we definitely want to be comfortable to conduct a song if we do have any new songs that are being introduced. Mm -hmm. If you're not comfortable conducting a song, you're welcome to actually pull one of the people from your choir out to conduct individual songs if you trust them. Um, and that means that you're actually able to use their strengths if that's not something that you're comfortable with yet. We're basically wanting to empower you to be awesome conductors and make sure that the choir has a great experience every week. Yay! Yay! So apparently we were really awesome.